from all of you. I hope everybody is happy, healthy, wonderful, and blessed and has having a fantastic week. I am sitting here fresh from the shower. My hair is all wet. I decided to come home from work today and jump right in. I do have a quick announcement. I am no longer going to be posting just the one video a week that runs me roughly about an hour. I'm going to be posting smaller videos three times a week. I will post them on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And I'm going to keep them, I'm going to say a half an hour or less each time that I post. So that's just a little FYI for you guys. And without further ado, let's like hop on in because I have so many really, really neat things and I am going to be bending forward and sideways. So I might leave the screen a couple of times like right now. Oh, and I almost cut my finger off at work. So you will see this little gadget at the moment. The, the um, thorns definitely got me pretty good at work this week. So that's, that's how this week has gone. Now I'm going to start off with this because this cracked me up and I do not even understand where it came from. So I saw this thing on an end cap hanging and it is a phone flask and the look of it is just hilarious. So it, it is from drink mate. And I mean, I'm not going to unbox this because I'm going to give it away as a gift. Um, and this is just the packaging on it, but it is a drink flask and I think it's hilarious. We don't drink, so this wouldn't be something that I would keep, but I think it is pretty comical to give to somebody for like a, like a bachelor party or something like that. This would be a really funny little intention gift to give toward like a gag gift or something like that. So I had to pick it up just to put it in my bin of things to give to people, you know, throughout the year when certain events come up. And I think that that is quite comical. So I had to grab it. So there's that. Then I also grabbed this brand new wreath form that I literally just found. And it says love in the little corner right here. And it's an infinity um, little sign here. And I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's humongous as well. So I only grabbed one, but they did have a whole stack and I was quite excited to find it, but I don't think I would need to make more than one of these personally myself. So I did only grab one this time. Um, and I think it is really, really beautiful. And I love the wire bent into that word love right there. So I found that and that's brand new. I've never seen them carry a, a wire wreath form like that ever. A lot of these things are all brand new items that I have never once seen the Dollar Tree carry. Like this, for instance, my dog is not like a dog that plays with toys or anything like that. She's just never been interested and she's just very factual and to the point with how she likes her thing, her things. But I did pick this up because I'm going to gift it to my neighbor across the street that has a really, really cute dog named, uh, dog named Coco. But this right here is just the coolest thing. And it's a doggy treat puzzle. And you put their treats in and you let them sniff out which little, um, which little paw they're under, which I think is just the coolest concept. So I purchased this to give as a gift, but if you have a pet of your own that likes this type of like a uh, little toy situation, something to intrigue them, then I would definitely pick this up. And I think that that is just such a neat, neat, neat invention. So I was happy to have found that. Now, along the lines of these beautiful wall clings that I have always absolutely loved their wall cling options. These are some that I've never seen before. And this says pray every morning, every night and often in between. So that's what it would look like up on the wall as it was already, you know, clung to a wall. And the lettering right here is what you would peel off to do that for your own house. And so I purchased that because I loved the saying on it. 
And then this one says, do not worry about anything. Pray. Uh, oh, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So that's what it would look like put up on the wall. I'm sorry it's not going to focus on that little box, but up here is the image of it already placed and what it would look like. And right here is the actual cling for the wall for you to put on your um, space. So I thought that that was really such a beautiful, both beautiful sayings on each of those signs. And I'm redoing my craft room out back and I'm probably going to use them in that area right there. Now these, Easter is almost upon us. So I'm getting really excited. My house is pretty much done being decorated and everything like that. In a video during the week of Easter, I will post pictures of my house and what it came out like with all of my Dollar Tree decorations up throughout my house. So, um, but I found these and these are brand new and I have not seen them at not one Dollar Tree before. So they have these a lot during the holidays the last year. And um, these rugs are just really, really cool. So they're pretty thin, but they do have a sticky side that will set on the floor so that it doesn't skid around. And it just says, Happy Easter. I did buy two of these. I'm going to put one in the entryway by my staircase going upstairs when you first open my door. So this will be the rug that you see. And I'm also going to put one in my kitchen where we stand to do dishes at the sink. So there's that. And I love, love, love the seafoam green color. They're just really adorable. So I grabbed two of the same one for that. And Easter is almost here and I'm, I'm putting baskets together. I've actually already handed out a couple of baskets to some of my family members and had like a pre-Easter day with the kids and stuff, which has been really fun. And I have like so many things to still do, but we're getting there. So now this right here, I think is so awesome because I use the uh, softeners from the Dollar Tree always, but they have two brand new scents. And this, I got two of these right here, but this one is the, um, what is it called? It, it is a uh, sunshine blossom. And this is the Suavidel Complete Color Protection, Fewer Wrinkles, Irresistible Soft, um, Irresistible Softening and Freshness easier stain removal and it says it does 12 small loads so I grabbed two of those and these smell incredible in the laundry every single week I use them every single week in my laundry and plus with the dryer sheets afterwards it's incredible my laundry smells like a dream so I grabbed two of these which are also brand new I've never seen them at any of the Dollar Trees and I get these every single week all the different variations of them and I've never once seen this orange one and purple one. This one is Soothing Lavender. It does all of the same things that I read to you from the previous um, bottles and it does 12 small loads. So I grabbed this one in the lavender. So I'm super excited. You know, I'm boring and laundry and smelling pretty things is like my, my enjoyment um, that I seek after like candles and you know my softeners and dryer sheets and perfumes and things like that and that's what gets me all tingly inside um I did find these floral uh garden butterfly die cut cutouts and there's th 33 count in each package which I have hauled these plenty of times before but never in these color options so I did find one in this blue, which is completely different than the last one. These butterflies are so stunning. I've used them in tons of crafting uh, situations that I have done. Uh, and they are just absolutely breathtaking. They're all different sizes and different um, patterns on the butterflies. And they're just so beautiful. But this whole little set here is in that type of blue. Then I have this one that is a whole purple set. 
and they are just I can't even tell you like they are paper but they look so realistic once you design them into some crafting ideas oh that is so pretty and this one is like a peachy pink color and I love like the accent of like the gold they're just they're really beautiful so I'm excited to use those for springtime springtime now I'm telling you I, I'm amazed like the Dollar Tree gets me going because there is so many stores that I go to on a monthly basis but honest to goodness like the stuff that keeps showing up just keeps blowing my mind more and more and more and I go to so many and at every single different Dollar Tree there are new items new items that I've never seen put out there ever before so I found these little tiny soft bristle fine teeth washable combs and brush and comb set and they're Disney Disney baby and I am obsessed I love these so much I had to pick them up this one is Ariel which you know she's my girl because I think I'm a mermaid in my heart I found Cinderella how cute would these be you know to gift to somebody in a basket of like a bathing basket for a brand new baby girl or I know they didn't have any boy options for the brush and comb set and there's Cinderella and here is Belle so beautiful look at the packaging it's just so sweet and and oh I I flipped when I saw this stuff on the shelf I absolutely flipped and then there is one more and then Aurora right there uh, I'm just I'm elated that I found these absolutely elated and I am going to save them in my bin of grandchildren possibly in the future so I have them on hand just in case I have a granddaughter or you know whatever I have boy and girl stuff and then I found these right here also from baby uh, Disney baby I got the Minnie Mouse and the Mickey Mouse options for the fork and spoon little sets the only thing was I was really hoping I was gonna find somewhere in the aisle I was gonna find like the plate or something that would go with these but maybe another time I didn't see anything for that but I did get the, the spoon and the fork so I just I can't begin to even explain to you the excitement that was rushing through me when I've found all of these brand new things in the last week now I also found this right here and these are new stylus pens there's two in a pack right here and it says super value pack stylus writing phone easel so I grabbed those so that if you're using like your debit card and you don't want to touch the keys on the you know the little monitor thing you can use this to press you can use it for your phone obviously for the stylus you, you know whatever you need to do or if you need to like write your name on the little pad where it's asking for your signature so I got these and they had a couple of different packages with different color options inside I think one of the other packages that I saw was an orange and a green one in the same packaging so I think these were really neat I grabbed those then let's see let's see let's see because I'm telling you I am like I am in love and thrilled with this with this haul and this stuff is unbelievable so I picked up this coloring book right here you know that I'm an animal lover I absolutely love wildlife and all of that and this is ca called adorable animals and I love the little fox on the front but inside they are so so beautiful like look at this picture right here of the little I don't know if those are squirrels or chipmunks I think that they're squirrels on that page um, but the the illustrations in here for you to color are absolutely so beautiful and I don't know if you would ever color but honestly I've always loved to color my whole life and it is so therapeutic and enjoyable and once you get into like 
the flow of it and you see the vibrant colors starting to come together in the pictures and stuff it just it just really brings like it brings you such a calm state that it's like you lose track of time and it's like just peaceful so I grabbed that coloring book and I have like a stash like you wouldn't believe of pens and pencils and coloring pencils and crayons and markers and stuff so that's going to be a lot of fun um, I also grabbed this scarf right here and if you watch my videos you know that I wear a lot of scarves in my hair and I just like wrap them and then I tie a cute bow in my like high buns. I'm sorry I'm fiddling with my hair so much today. I literally just got out of the shower from work. It's starting to like dry and like start to move around so I'm going to try to stop playing with it so much. But look at this scarf right here. Look at the colors in it. Look at the pattern to it, the flowers. Like, it's just so beautiful, so springy. It's just, I cannot wait to put this in my hair. I may actually wear it in my hair this weekend. Richie and I are going away this weekend. We have not been away with one another for the last two years. We usually go away once every year, just the two of us for like a long weekend. We haven't done it in the last two years and we decided that we need to do it so we're going off season to a beach hotel it you know pre-summer so that it won't be too overrun or anything like that the pool is not an option because of covid which is completely fine for us and we are going to bring our lysol wipes and sanitizers and things and once we get in the room disinfect everything and just have a good time and spend time with each other. I am thoroughly excited. I took tomorrow off of work and so we're leaving early in the morning and I have to pack some things and I may very well pack this to put up in my hair over the weekend while we're just putting around the area. We're going to the Cape and we love it down there but honestly we wouldn't go past you know the kickoff of summer anyways because getting over the Sagamore Bridge would just not be like a good time at all to be honest with you so we're just not going to go there um ever during the summertime at the Cape. So I will do a video vlog of that and share it with you guys after the weekend is over. I'll put something together to show you what we do, where we stay and all that so watch out for that. Then I got this beautiful heart dish right here. It, you know, anything heart is definitely just my, my, my thing. I'm all about the love. So I grabbed this heart dish right here. And then I grabbed these most beautiful brand new marble little um, glass gems that I found at the Dollar Tree. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to just they're absolutely gorgeous i've never seen them do anything like this ever 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 these stones are just like a beautiful mixture of like summery colors they're so beautiful i got two packages of them and i am going to put them in this little glass heart right here obviously out of the packaging but I'm going to situate them into this glass heart right here. And then I'm going to take one of my sand dollars that I have a massive collection of sand dollars that we've found at the beaches when we've gone, you know, so many times on our walks to just look for like sea things to wash up from the um, tide. And I'm going to put one of my sand dollars on top of the colored stones inside of the glass little shaped dish and if you are a seashell collector this would be really pretty to just kind of mound up some some sea treasures that you may find at the beach and I equate the ocean with love and the world and its beauty so that's why I needed that heart to put that stuff in now I also grabbed this and this was just the cutest thing this is a stationary set it had like a variety of like eight different um eight different options of different things that are inside of this little pouch but I only got this one and I got it from my mom and this little pouch here comes with this so cute little adorable notepad but it's shaped like a paintbrush brush which is the cutest thing ever it has a little gel pen 
It also has a little tiny um, tie-dye looking little notepad right here. And then it has this little notebook. It's a miniature notebook. And she loves to doodle and take notes and stuff. She's very artistic. And so I got her this little set right here because of that. And I just think it's just adorable. And we, I'm telling you, the options that they had, they're so cute. And where Easter is right around the corner, this is such a cute little set to, to put into like a little art Easter basket or something like that. If you may be putting one together for somebody that you love that has like construction paper and crayons and markers and maybe a coloring book or whatever, a notebook, a journal with some pens or things like that in an Easter basket. This would be really cute to put it in there, but they did have a ton of different options of what these little cases contain and they are just as cute as that one. But that's the only one that I picked up of that. Then I also grabbed these band-aids and I had to because they are Crayola band-aids and I've never seen these before either and there's only 14 in here but I had to have them anyways this was like the cutest box I've ever seen for a band-aid option and as you can see at work I cut myself on a daily basis with the thorns from the roses and everything else that I do the shears that I use to clip the flowers um, so I need band-aids often and I had to grab these so that I can put them on my boo-boos when I get them. So there's that. And that's really cute too to put into an Easter basket. You know, if you're making like a little, a little care kit or something for like a little kid, you know, they fall, they get bruises, scrapes. Sometimes kids just like to play with band-aids. They like to, you know, put band-aids on their babies and, you know, if their babies get hurt and they got to put band-aids on them. So sometimes it's just cute for a little play situation as well. Now let's see. Let's see what else I can show you guys because literally everything is new. DIY printed tote bag right here on the lines of along the lines of coloring. So this is a little tote bag that you can color and I am keeping this for myself because that would be a fun afternoon to color in my burgers and pizza and french fries and this would be so cute for the summertime to carry around whether it's colored or it just stays black and white to use that as like your little tote to put around with you know while you're out doing your summer activities going to the beach or whatever to put it in there let's open it up and see how big it is so let's just take a little peek at the size of it it's cinched because of the thing it's not too bad of a size to be honest with you that's a pretty decent sized tote to be honest and i very well may just keep it black and white because that's really cute just as it is to be you know just to look at it it looks just adorable the way that it is but you never know i may color it i may not so that cute little tote is definitely a grab for a quick little gifting idea or for yourself like I'm going to do. Now, oh my goodness, I feel like the minutes just fly by so fast and um, there's so much to show you guys. But like I said, I'm going to post three times a week. So it will be completely different than the one hour just on the weekend day. And sometimes I've been posting like in the middle of the week when I forget, you know, to upload something, which just happened this past week. So if you've missed my last couple of hauls, there were two posted this past week. Now check this out. This is from that girl that I've been hauling from at the Dollar Tree. Her name, let me see, is Karina Garcia and it says Craft City. This is slime on the go. Karina's mini slimes. Customize these ready to play slimes. Um, and there is a whole little package in here of slimes for gifting for one dollar. And I picked up two packages of these and I plan on giving them to my little munchkins that I love so much for a little gift on the side of their Easter basket because this is too big to fit into any of the Easter baskets 
that I have left to give out. Now, along the lines of more stuff pertaining to what we're going to need for the summer, because we also do plan on going camping a lot this year, I picked up more of these little lights here. So this is a uh, work light, but we're going to most likely use it for camping. Uh, it says two light sources, one on the side and one on the front. And then it says that it takes three double A batteries. So I got two of them so that when we're camping, you know, we use these lights to walk to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you know, which is sometimes a ways from where our campsite is. We use it to set up on the picnic table so that we can play cards, you know, while it's already gotten dark outside. So we need a lot of like lights, lanterns, flashlights, and things like that. And this is a completely new type of light that we've never seen before. So I grabbed it for camping purposes. And um, I'm telling you, I listen, we're always going to be careful, but we are starting to do stuff. I cannot go another year without doing anything like we did last year. I mean, it's been good because we've had a lot of downtime. We have definitely scaled back. We've learned to relax. I enjoy staying home when I get the chance to and, you know, and just having downtime. And that is something that I never really did for myself before COVID happened. So I've learned to slow down a little bit through this, which I appreciate. But we've always lived with the motto work hard play hard and we have not been able to do that in the last year and it has really taken a toll on us we're all tired we're all burnt out and we are going to have to just continue to be safe but start to resume life in some liberties and that's what we're gonna do so there's that now i'm gonna start wrapping up here but these last couple of items are I have to show you items. This says, I think I'll just be happy today with the sunshine. And this is quite heavy. And a piece like this, honestly, if I don't know if you have a Christmas tree shop near you, but at the Christmas tree shop around us, they do have these little signs and things like that that go at this size for like $6.99 with sayings on it that are just like this. They had a whole little slew of these with different sayings on them, different colored backgrounds. And I have these type of little signs situated all around my house just as little reminders to just enjoy life. So I grabbed this and I had to add it to my collection and I was so happy to find it. And I think I took a picture of the other options and I'll include those at the end. Now, uh, Richie and I are going to be 40. Him. He's going to be 40 on June 5th and I'm going to be 40 on July 6th and we're planning on having like a little outdoor thing for the two of us for the 40th. I don't know if we're going to do that combined or separately, but everything else that we're going to do is going to be combined. Like we're going away on a camping weekend and things like that to celebrate our 40th. But the little thing that we're going to put together for outside, I did pick this up right here and it just says celebrate. And the colors inside of it are beautiful. The coloring to the Celebrate is gorgeous. And even if you wanted to purchase the Celebrate and use it for something else, like that star, uh, you know, you could do something with and not even include it in the sign. You could do whatever you want with it. But I plan on using it as it's intended. And I think it's going to go along with the theme of what I'm trying to put together for like a little cookout type of afternoon at my house in the backyard. And I was so excited to find it. The Oh, the teals, that little pale um, white, like cream color, the pale pink, really cute lettering. And they're rather large. So it will be a nice, big, vibrant um, sign to check out when you're walking into the yard to say, hey, you're going to be full day. And I'm excited to be 40. I'm excited I made it to this point. I'm excited that I wake up every day and that I get to start over every morning and make it the best day I could possibly make it. So that's it for this haul. They were all brand new items and I hope you enjoyed all of them. I hope you run out and you go and find this stuff 
and I will see you on, what did I say? Monday. Monday I'm going to post another video, and I hope you will be there to watch. I hope everybody has a love, blessed, happy, healthy, safe, amazing, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week, and I love you all. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know how everybody's doing. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.